What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 13 video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button. Try to get every video up over 100, 150. I also ask that you subscribe to my channel if you don't currently. I welcome your criticism to this video in the comment section. And as always, I recommend you follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. More gameplay here from my online CCM with the Bills. You guys should be very familiar with. A lot of replays have been shown from them. And there's been a few issues that I haven't talked about with Madden yet because, quite frankly, I assumed they were going to be fixed in title updates and patches. Right now, the fourth patch has came and went. A fifth patch, I guess, is likely, but seems kind of unprobable. So, I feel like it is time to finally speak on some of these issues. Playing this at speed, you're going to see C.J. Spiller try a draw play that gets kind of blown up there by my defensive tackle, Kyle Williams, and user control of Bob Sanders. And just to kind of slow down and take a look at what happens here, you can see Kyle Williams comes back, stands up, Spiller, and then he starts to try to run out of the tackle, and that's when I come in as the safety with user control. And again, I've made it pretty clear in my last few videos, a lot of this animation stuff is left up to interpretation, and I realize there's a little bit of shifting and sliding that goes on here, but I'm all for it. I agree with it, and I understand it. It is a video game. It's not going to be perfect. So when I kind of see my player slide into position here, I, you know, understand that it's a video game. When I see my player's arms go up, I understand that it's a tackle, and that's what the game is trying to replicate, and I have no problem with the fact that Mangold kind of had his back turned to the entire situation as all four players fall to the ground, and Doomerville comes in and trips just for uh, the hell of it. So, the problem with this is it's a quintessential situation where each player should be accredited with a tackle. Yet, when we go back out and we look at the game recap, we go to the statistics, you're going to see that that's really just not the case. We'll go to the player stats, select the Bills, and scroll back to defensive stats. And here you can see Kyle Williams is actually credited with that complete tackle. So the problem here would essentially be the fact that since it can't properly keep track of stats, it skews things in terms of your player. So when you go through the goals that a player has over a season, it really starts to mess with the tackle numbers. And of course you see Kyle Williams has 37 tackles, but the problem comes in when you go and you try to maybe increase a player. So let's take a look at a player that I'm trying to develop and make better. It's going to impact his numbers a lot more when those aren't credited. So when we go and we look at Cavell Connor, and we see that obviously he's going to have goals that are more tackle oriented being a middle linebacker, the fact that these aren't calculated correctly makes it a lot more difficult for him to get the proper numbers because he's missing out on two to three complete tackles a game when you factor in that the assisted tackles aren't being calculated properly. So of course now we look at the end result of this. When you go to purchase upgrades for your player, the XP technically isn't calculated correctly. And when we talk about such a base stat like tackles, you can see how this would really start to snowball problems into the game. You know, now all of a sudden the replay value of the CCM is impacted because you're not keeping realistic stats. You're not able to progress your players the way you would like to, so you start to lose that depth. And overall it impacts the game in a multitude of levels just from a core football principle not being respected. So again, this is something that I'd like to see get worked on I'd, I would love to see it get patched this year, but it's a major problem that cannot continue to plague this franchise going forward. Realistic stats have to be key in terms of getting football replicated. I appreciate you guys watching this. I will be back in the week with more videos.